What is going on guys, welcome to Gump's videos, my name is indeed Kyle Cooper, and today I am proud to say that I am doing a little bit better and I'm able to do more videos and I'll be back to hopefully one video to every other day, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, please click the video above so you can get all the details. Now, let's get into the video today, and this has been something I've been wanting to talk about for the past four days when it first was released. We all knew there was going to be a third Spongebob movie. If you didn't, well, I'm breaking it to you. <laughs> There's going to be a third Spongebob movie. I remember when the second one came out, they said the third one was supposed to be the final one. It no longer looks like it's going to be that because the third one is going to be an origin story. Which is odd because I'm pretty sure we got an origin explanation in one of the episodes of Spongebob. I remember like when he first... Got his house next to Squidward and uh, Patrick. I remember all that. I remember that and his parents. I, th I was pretty sure that's when he met Patrick and Squidward, but apparently that's not the case. I saw this on Collider.com. So, um, yeah, and there's a title. There's a lot of shit we gotta get to just to discuss. There's an official title for right now. We're not. We're, I'm not sure if they're gonna change it, but it seems like it's legit and it's gonna stick. It's called SpongeBob SquarePants movie it's a wonderful sponge i get it because it's a wonderful life get it <laughs> the title is already kind of stupid what a title a good title is supposed to do is explain what the movie is about if you had spongebob squarepants movie three or like spongebob squarepants three it would have been fine you know why because now we just know it's just about Spongebob, but then when you have like a subtext or subtitle, that subtitle is supposed to explain what the movie is about. It's a wonderful sponge. I mean, even the, the second movie, I never watched it, but I could tell what it's about. It's called Sponge Out of Water. I'm guessing he goes out of the water. It's a wonderful sponge. What is it about? Spongebob being the good guy again? No shit, Sherlock. We got a release date as well. July 17th, 2020, which is unfortunate for them because I'm pretty sure the the 20th anniversary would be 2019 because I'm pretty sure it was originally released in uh, 1999. So that's unfortunate for them, but I know that they're probably making this for their 20th anniversary, but they just, they just couldn't land the mark. July, that's a pretty pretty tough spot. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of big movies. I mean, it's, it's in the middle of the summer movie season. And these movies don't really make a lot of money. I mean, for as popular as Spongebob is, the, like worldwide, both of them, like I think only gross around like $325 million, which is unfortunate for Spongebob. I mean, like it's good for animation, I guess. It's not, it's nothing to be super proud of. It's not, hooray. That's not, that, it, for Spongebob, it should be 500 million because it's Spongebob, but whatever. Here's, here's some plot details. They basically are saying that Spongebob, we're gonna figure out how he meets everybody for the first time at a summer camp Called Camp Coral You know My I never saw the second one. I had no desire to But there's something about this movie already that just screams, this is just a shitty episode of Spongebob stretched out to an hour and a half. This seems like a dumbass one-off episode. Doesn't seem like a feature film. So, and uh, yeah, here's the one part that really does kind of annoy me right here, this one little spot. They're not doing 2D animation anymore. It's going to be 100% CGI. What's that mean? It's gonna look like this and this. It's not gonna be regular 2D animation. It's not gonna look like what the original SpongeBob's looked like. And the guy said the reason is because it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard. Stop being a baby, you little bitch! It's gonna be hard, so we can't do 2D animation. So we're gonna do 3D animation because it's so much easier. You little bitch! The one thing that Spongebob had going for it was the style, the look. 
2D animation is a dying art, and that sucks, because I like 2D animation. I grew up with 2D animation. The title sucks, penis. The fucking synopsis sucks, penis. And then this, now the look is gonna look like my grandmother's dead Here's a story I've been wanting to talk to you guys about all damn day. We all know Hans Zimmer. If you don't, he, he did little musical scores like this. He's a silent guardian, a watchful protector, a dark knight. This. Come on, face ass, face ass, get back here, door. Come on. He's gonna be the guy composing this movie. Spongebob movie. <laughs> I see where the budget's coming from. I bet you they can't do the animation because they're like, it's too expensive. We already got Hans Zimmer, so do some cheap animation 3D style. It doesn't fit. Those two I just showed you, that's not like me nitpicking of what he's done. That's basically his style. Dark, but dr like dramatic and just epic. That doesn't scream this. It doesn't work. <laughs> well, yeah, that's basically it, guys. Um, what are your thoughts? I like to hear your thoughts down below, guys. Whew. I have a Twitter, Instagram, Gumps underscore videos. Go follow me there for leading to do stuff. Thanks on my channel, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and all that crap. Goodbye.